Well, the last four weeks have been absolutely insane in the playoff picture, so let's go ahead and take a look back at my week 11 tier list of playoff chances and see how I can adjust it to make it more reflect the NFL today. How's it going, everybody? I am Jason of Jason Drum here, and today I'm here bringing you guys my NFL tier list week 15 update. We'll be taking the tier list from week 11 and updating it to today, so we'll make sure that we can have it up to date. If you guys do like, don't forget to smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below who is a contender, who is a pretender, and who is out of their league entirely. I want to hear what you guys have to say, but let's dive right into this. All right, so let's start off with the elephant in the room here, all the teams that have been eliminated in the playoff race. Those teams are going to go into the eliminated tier, so those would be the Carolina Panthers, the New England Patriots, the Arizona Cardinals, the Tennessee Titans, the Washington Commanders, and the New York Jets. Those teams are all eliminated. They are going to stay at that bottom tier of this tier list. All right, so let's move on now, starting off with Super Bowl contenders, the Philadelphia Eagles. You've clinched a playoff spot, so you're not a likely playoff team. But you're not playing like a true contender at this point because you have been struggling. You have hit a three-game skid. You lost to the Niners. You lost to the Cowboys. Now you've lost to the Seahawks in back-to-back -back consecutive weeks. That is a real problem. You're going to make the playoffs because you've already clinched. But you're not looking like a team that's going to make it to the next level from there. Baltimore and San Francisco, I have no problem with you guys. You guys are still looking like real contenders. So we'll go ahead and keep you guys up there. You guys are playing well. You're playing strong. You're playing elite football at the right time of the year. So you guys stay where you are. Detroit, let's be real here. Looking at the playoff picture, you're going to make the playoffs. But I just, I don't know if I like you guys as Super Bowl contenders. You have a big problem. Now, it's a simple fix. If you guys fix that, you guys jump right back up into Super Bowl contenders. But your problem is the turnovers. You turn the ball over way too much for my liking, for me to consider you guys a true Super Bowl contender. So you are going to make the playoffs, no doubt, but you're not really a Super Bowl contender just yet in my mind. All right, the Chiefs, you guys are going to stay under playoff locks. Actually, we'll go ahead and move you down a tier to likely playoff teams just because there is a chance that you guys fall off. But if you guys get one more win, you know, no, we'll, actually, we'll, move you, we'll keep you up here because you guys are not going to lose out. You would need to lose out in Denver to win out for you to not make the playoffs. So you are almost assuredly a playoff lock, but you're not playing good football at all right now. So I can't move you into Super Bowl contenders at this point. Moving on to Dallas, I think it's time Dallas moves up here to this upper echelon. There are concerns. There is definitely a concern about the run game. And based off the teams that they can face in the playoffs, there is a real serious concern. If they run into, let's say, Baltimore in the Super Bowl, if they run into the Niners, if they run into the Rams, those teams are heavily running teams. Even the Lions could give the Cowboys a run for their money. But really, other than that, there's no real big NFC running threat that I can see off the top of my head. So you guys are contenders to make the Super Bowl, and even in the AFC, if somehow the Chiefs or the Browns make it out of the AFC over the Ravens, you have a chance, a legitimate chance to beat them because they don't have a bona fide run game that you can't really stop. So realistically, I think you guys are contenders, but you guys are the most fraudulent of the contenders. Now to Pittsburgh. Oh boy, Pittsburgh, how the mighty have fallen. Not there, not there, but right there. You guys really need a miracle. You don't have Kenny Pickett in the games. You lost to the Colts. You are going to play the Bengals now, which really, I don't know if you guys win that game. It's going to be close. But realistically, the Bengals should beat you in that game. And at that point, you're on the outside looking in, and it is not pretty. You are one game back of a playoff spot. Another loss almost certainly puts that nail in your coffin. All right, Miami, let's be real. You guys are going to make the playoffs. You have big questions because you have not really beaten a bona fide contender, but you're going to make the playoffs. You have three games to go. You have a two-game lead in your division and a two-game lead over the wild card spot. So even if the Bills somehow win that division, you are almost assuredly going to get a wild card spot. It's not going to be pretty. But you almost assuredly have a playoff spot with your name on it. It's not official just yet, but it, it will be here soon. All right, Cleveland, I like you where you are. You're not guaranteed a playoff spot. You, are, you have a one-game cushion, but the way you're playing, you are looking really good. Joe Flacco is looking like the guy. He is really turning a corner with you guys and really making it look like you guys have a viable chance at making the playoffs. And really, you have a game advantage over the four teams fighting for the seven seed. Well, the six and seven seed. But... It's not assured. It's not a guaranteed thing. You can lose a couple games and still not make the playoffs. And while I do think you have easily an 80, 90% chance of making the playoffs, I don't want to put you under playoff locks just yet because Joe Flacco has been looking great, 
but how long is that sustainable for? And I don't know if it's sustainable for the rest of the season. All right, Jacksonville, I think it's about time we move you down a peg. You guys have not been playing like yourself. The offense has kind of left you since Trevor Lawrence had that high ankle sprain. He's playing through it, and he's playing well through it. But then he had the other injury on the throwing arm where he had to shake it off and shake off some pain. So really, Jacksonville, you are in a tough spot right now. In fact, actually, anyone in the AFC South that's contending is going to fall down here. That includes you too, Houston. You haven't been looking really great right now. You haven't been looking amazing recently. You've been doing well, but you just have not been looking absolutely outstanding the way you have been. You're getting the job done, but it's not really pretty for you guys. So there are some concerns there for you as well. Seattle, Tampa Bay, you two are also going to join the party down here. Just because you both are... <clears throat> You're looking all right, but Tampa Bay, you do have teams on your heels. And the more I'm thinking about it, the more I look at your schedule, I think you guys are actually going to go back up to likely, but it's really a, like a less confident likely. You guys have looked good, but the question is, is Baker Mayfield going to sustain this form that he has down the stretch, or is he going to look like the old Baker Mayfield we know in Cleveland? It's going to fall off. Seattle, you guys are putting yourself in a fairly solid position but Minnesota's schedule the rest of the way isn't hateful. They can very well get a couple of games here or there, and if they can get a couple games, they almost assuredly have a playoff spot. The Rams have a relatively soft schedule the rest of the way as well, so they are looking really solid as well for a playoff spot. They really have one big game that's a question mark, and that's the Niners game, so you need to basically win out in order to make sure you get a playoff spot, and even then, it's not guaranteed. So Seattle... It's possible. It's certainly possible with your schedule. It's possible for the Vikings to lose a couple of games. It's possible for the Rams to, you know, get some games in there. But really, I think you're a possible playoff team. Minnesota, you're going to go down under needs a miracle just because it is tough to be swept by an opponent. Yes, it's a, di a divisional opponent, I should say. You have both games against Detroit in these last three weeks. So you're probably going to pull one loss, I would imagine. It's tough to sweep or get swept. So I imagine you get a loss there, and you really are not in a great scenario. Your quarterback play is all right under Nick Mullins, but once again, you guys are going back to your form of collapsing in key moments, which is not going to help your case at all down the stretch. All right, Buffalo, let's be real here. You guys are getting hot at the right time. Your schedule is relatively soft the rest of the way. I can see you guys winning out, and based off of the opponents of the Texans, having the Browns and the Colts, which are not going to be gimme games for them, and looking at the Bengals, having the Chiefs and the Browns and the Steelers in, in Pittsburgh is not an easy place to play. Even if the Steelers are not a good football team, it still is a tough place to play. So looking at it this way, I think that Cincinnati and Houston really have a tough schedule to end the season. So I see Buffalo being able to sneak in there as one of the last two playoff spots, the six seed or seven seed. And really, they can make some noise. They're getting hot at the right time, and they are looking good doing so. As for New Orleans and Indianapolis, you guys are both here to begin with, and I like where you guys are at. New Orleans, you've been up and down all season. You haven't really been competitive, but you've also been very competitive at the same time. So looking at it, you really have a chance, but you also don't have a chance at the same time, if you kind of get what I mean. So you're really a, wild, a total wild card of a spot here. Meanwhile, Indianapolis... You're looking solid, and your schedule the rest of the way is fairly solid. You have a decent chance of maybe pulling out the AFC South. But overall, I'm just not as sold on the team around Gardner Minshew and Gardner Minshew himself for the rest of the season for you guys to almost assuredly get a playoff spot. All right, Atlanta, you guys have a chance, and it's not great, but I don't think you guys deserve to fall under Snowball's chance. Um, I really feel like you guys have a better odds than, let's say, some teams that are going to end up down here. Spoiler alert, some of those teams are like Chicago and the Giants staying down there. You have better chance of making the playoffs than them, but overall, I don't like your odds. You're going to need a miracle. You're going to need a lot of help if you want to make the playoffs. So overall, I can't justify raising you, but I also can't really justify lowering you either. All right, yep, we're not going to talk about this. We're just going to move you down there because, well, you fired your head coach and got blown out 63-21. Green Bay, I like where you're at. Your schedule is not... Uh, you have a relatively soft schedule the rest of the way, but you have lost two of four quote-unquote easy games to end the season. You are looking identityless, and you are now on the outside looking in, saying, I believe, let me double-check, what, six and eight? Yeah, six and eight. With teams like the Rams, the, the Buccaneers, you have a lot of teams that are ahead of you that are looking a lot better in the playoff race. So ultimately, yeah, you guys could win out, but I don't know if 9-8 is going to be good enough for you to make the playoffs at this point.
All right, the Rams, I don't mean to be, try to be, I try not to be biased here, but ultimately, I feel like the Rams have a really good chance at making the playoffs. The Vikings have been crumbling. You have other teams around them, like the Saints are very up and down. And the Rams, I mean, apart from the game against San Francisco in Week 18, which San Fran might very well rest their starters. After the Philadelphia loss, San Fran could just rest their starters Week 18, try to not get any catastrophic injuries, and leave that game without getting big injuries so that they can compete in the playoffs. I could see the Rams maybe getting a win there, potentially. But even still, two wins, I think, is going to be enough for the Rams. Going 9-8, and eight, I think, is really going to be big for this team and I think the Rams are going to be in a good spot I like their chances they're getting hot at the right time and they're playing really good football down the stretch which is what you need to do if you want to make the playoffs all right Denver you guys are going to fall under possible playoff teams you're part of that whole big grouping in the AFC that's stuck at 500 and close to it you definitely have the potential you have a very talented team this year you're playing really well with what you have I mean you're not top of the tier talent but with what you have, you're playing really well. You're overperforming based off of what any metric would have said about you. So overall, you're looking fairly, fairly solid at this point. But the thing for you is that you're going to have to fight with all these other teams that are also vying for that playoff spot. And that loss to Detroit is really going to hurt you. Now you're tied with the Steelers, one game back of the playoffs, and you you got to get you got to win out first of all, pretty much, if you want to make a chance at a playoff spot from there. So it's possible given what's happening, but I really don't feel like it's likely. And let's go ahead and move Las Vegas down to here because, well, quite frankly, you're not going to do anything. You're, you're trying. You're certainly trying, but it's not really working for you. You, fi uh, you. you fired another coach, but you're also on an interim head coach too. You have glimmers of hope. You look really good at times, but you're just not consistent enough paired with the fact that you are a 6-8. and eight, You're below the Broncos and the Steelers. So you really have a snowball's chance. And lastly, we have the Cincinnati Bengals here. I think the, the Giants and Bears, I like where they're at. So I'm not going to adjust to them. I really feel like they do have a snowball's chance. They're not eliminated yet, but they're almost eliminated. But Cincinnati's going to be the last team we talk about today. And man, Jake Browning, my dude, is putting this team under a possible playoff contender. Now he's going to be tested. He has to go to Pittsburgh. When Pittsburgh beat Cincinnati last time they played with Jake Browning, mind you, by a final score of 16-10, to and then they have the Chiefs in Arrowhead, which is, once again, a tough place to play. And then they come back home, which is a nice rest, but you're going up against the Cleveland Browns defense, one of the best in the league. You have a really tough stretch. Now, I, I certainly think it's possible. You have the advantage. You are currently sitting in the playoffs at 8-6 and six right now, but I really feel... Like, this team is going to be challenged over the next couple weeks. So I don't want to move them to likely just because they have the potential and they have the talent. But now Jamar Chase is down, and you're on Jake Browning, who's going to have to go to Pittsburgh and Arrowhead over the next two weeks, and then face the Browns' defense in the last week of the season, which could very well be a win and end situation. So I just, I don't like their spot, but I feel like they have a better chance than some of these other teams. All right, well, this is the final tier list down there, so go ahead and check that out. Leave, let me know in the comments down below if you would change anything on this. Keep me accountable, you know, hold me to the stats and the facts. So let me know in the comments below what you would change. And I guess if you did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe as it does help me out a whole lot. It tells you that I'm making content that y'all enjoy. And with that, make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my week 15 recap down below me. Subscribe to the channel over there and I will see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.